Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer at St. Francis Episcopal Church on Thursday, May 27th. It is the commemoration of the first Book of Common Prayer used on Pentecost Sunday for the first time in 1549. We give thanks to you, Lord, for, for you, you have, have done, done marvelous, marvelous things. things. When we were walking in darkness, you were there, you were there. When, when we, we were kneeling, kneeling in weakness, weakness, you were there, you were there. When we drew near feeling worthless, you were there, you were there. When we were needing, needing forgiveness, forgiveness, you were there, you were, were there. there. When we were searching for your grace, you were there, you were there. We, we give, give thanks, thanks to you, Lord, for, for you have, have done marvelous things. O Lord, open our lips, and, and our, our mouths mouth shall proclaim your praise. praise. Since we have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols, but it is the Lord who made the heavens. O oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence! O oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary! Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other arguments and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized, and that day about 3,000 persons were added, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. There, there was, was a great, great multitude that, that no one could count. count. They, they were, were wearing white robes and, and were holding palm branches, palm branches in their hands. And, and they, they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits, who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and power and strength be to our God forever and ever. They are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will spread his tent over them. Never again will they hunger, never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat upon them nor any scorching heat. For the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will, he will lead, lead them, them to springs, springs of living water, and God, God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Mark. John said to him, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not stop him, for no one who does a deed of power in my name will be able soon afterwards to speak evil of me. Whoever is not against us is for us. 
For truly I tell you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ will by no means lose the reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. Let Let us us give thanks thanks to the Father, who who has made us worthy to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, thrones and dominations, principalities and powers. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. And so he is preeminent above all. For it was the Father's will that the fullness of God should dwell in him, and that through him all things should be reconciled to himself. Through the blood of the cross he brought peace to all things, both on heaven and in the heavens. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Almighty and ever-living God, who through the Book of Common Prayer restored the language of the people in the prayers of your Church, make us always thankful for this heritage, and help us so to pray in the Spirit and with the understanding that we may worthily magnify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Loving Creator, we asked for strength and you gave us difficulties to make us strong. We asked for wisdom, and you gave us problems to solve. We asked for prosperity, and you gave us purpose and brains to use. We asked for courage, and you gave us fears to overcome. We asked for patience, and you gave us situations where we were forced to wait. We asked for love, and you gave us troubled people to help. We asked for justice, and you called us to be just and lead with integrity. Lord, we have received nothing that we asked for or wanted, and yet we receive everything that we needed. For this we give thanks. Creator of all people, in our amazing discovery of size, shape, color, and giftedness, guide us by your grace to recognize the beauty and fitness of all whom you have made in your own image. Give us gifts of humility and generosity of spirit to recognize in all people the face of our Savior Jesus, and to practice his commandment to love one another toward the end of bringing harmony and peace. 
among persons of all colors, origins, and abilities for the sake of your kingdom. Amen. Holy God, before time you named us, through time you redeem us. You call us precious in your sight. May we love as you love. Holy One, through the turbulent waters make us steady, your hands holding strong the fragile and weak. May we love as you love. Gracious God, may the fruits of our lives be food for the hungry, bread, clothing, shelter, fire, water, word. May we love as you love. God of justice, remove the chaff of our lives that keep us from hearing, following your call. May we love as you love. Loving God, take this day our fears, our worries, distractions, and turn them into wheat, heart food. May we love as you love. As Christ burst forth from the tomb, may new life burst forth from us and show itself in acts of love and healing to a hurting world. And may the same Christ, who lives forever and is the source of our new life, keep our hearts rejoicing and grant us peace this day and always. Amen. Amen.